Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video today from Jerusalem just a few minutes before the start of uh, Shabbat. Today is a religious fast day. It's the uh, Jewish fast of uh, Asarab Tevet, the 10th day in the month of Tevet. Uh, this is one of the minor Jewish fasts. We have two very big fasts in the year. Uh, we have uh, Kippur, uh, Yom Kippur, and we also have uh, Tisha B'Av, uh, which is the ninth day of the Hebrew month of Av in the summer. Uh, and this is the shorter, the, one of the shorter ones. It starts around dawn and ends around sundown. Seta Kochavim. Um, I'm not sure which exactly, but uh, basically you fast during the day, which means no eating, no drinking. And uh, this is, we have a number of these fast days in the Jewish religious calendar. Um, I wanted to record this video because yesterday I was a little bit under the weather and I ended up watching a lot of Shi'urim from the wonderful Rabbi Ali Mansour, uh, from the Admin Safra congregation in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, I just wanted to say, it, it occurred to me, uh, because I have no direct contact with the rabbi, I there's no contact form I can complete to reach him. So I thought, why don't I just put this up on my YouTube channel? Because I think, uh, for once, I want to say a massive thank you to Rabbi Ali Mansour. I've been watching his shurim, his Torah lessons for um, the longest time, probably since I was about 18, growing up. And uh, Ali Mansour, Rabbi Ali Mansour, actually has a huge role uh, in why I am uh, relatively religious and why I ended up moving to Israel. So he's had a huge outsized um, influence on my life. So I thought I would uh, just, uh, as I said, say thank you to him. Um, when I was growing up Jewish in Ireland, I've done a video about that experience, what it was like. We didn't really have Jewish religious services. I mean, there was like one Shabbat service a month and we had uh, the major um, Jewish uh, festivals like Rosh Hashanah and Kippur. For those festivals, because um, for Jewish prayers, you need something called a minyan, ideally 10 Jewish men. We had to import uh, rabbinical students from the UK. And those guys were always associated with Chabad. Now, I've no, I don't want to really kind of criticize Chabad, uh, but basically my only reference for Orthodox Judaism growing up in Ireland was Chabad because that's what was available. That's what we had. And discovering a Orthodox Jewish world beyond the Ashkenazi world and beyond Chabad was fantastic. Um, I, I would say that I fell in love with Rabbi Mansour for his erudition and knowledge. I began listening to his Daf Yomi Shurim. I began listening to his Daily Halakha, Paleoetz. He's so many ventures, uh, but more than that, just his general Torah Shurim. And they actually kept me religious or inspired, I should say, maybe more than religious when I was living in Ireland. Uh, we certainly didn't have any Jewish education. I was the only Jewish student in my class. And back in the day, I was I was something of an exercise freak. Uh, I used to go on these one hour jogs. I did a half marathon. I was in a lot better uh, physical condition than I am currently in my 30s. And uh, Rabbi Mansour would accompany me virtually on these jogs uh, when I was driving to college, I used to listen to Rabbi Mansour. And when I was growing up in a very not, not Jewish environment and trying to stay connected and motivated to make Aliyah, it was really Rabbi Mansour's fantastic shurim that got me through. Um, I love, as I said, his erudition. It's made me really interested in Sephardic culture, halachot minhagim, and not really growing up in a religious household. Those are actually the minhagim. Uh, that I've kind of adopted for myself. I've even got interested in in Jewish Syrian cooking uh, by Pupa Dweck's excellent book, Aromas of Aleppo, which I highly recommend. And basically, Rabbi Mansour has opened up a whole new world of Judaism for me. Um, I now feel comfortable going to Sephardic uh, Minyanim. And um, I just, the, the, the inspiration and the lessons have been truly wonderful. So that is my video message thanking Rabbi Ali Mansour for what he does. Um, I put together yesterday for, all, for other people interested in learning from the rabbi, um, I put together a playlist based on everything I could find on YouTube. But uh, his former website, LearnTorah.com, I see, has had a bit of a facelift, but um, it's still, it'll redirect you to a new, new domain called, uh, I think it's Aitora. And uh, you can filter on Rabbi Mansour and select his video messages. Uh, so there's still lots and lots of content as well as on YouTube uh, that he's making available, both audio shiurim and video shiurim. So thank you, Rabbi Mansour, for what you do. You're, you're an pi absolute pioneer 
in uh, using the internet, utilizing the harnessing the internet for Jewish education. And not only are your shurim listened to in the traditional Jewish world, also lots of, also lots of people here in Israel, um, but um, even people who in the most small Jewish communities in the world, the most far removed places from the Jewish mainstream, your works have penetrated, influenced and inspired. And uh, really, uh, people like me, I'm sure there must be others, owe you an immense debt of gratitude. And it would be an honor if Rabbi Mansour ever comes to Jerusalem or I ever manage to catch him in real life in New York or Miami, I will say a huge thank you. And it would be a true honor to meet him one day. Uh, that's it. Uh, if you're uh, if you're interested in uh, in Judaism uh, or you know looking for good content, look, looking for good Torah content in Shurim to listen to at the gym or just whenever, um, I still highly recommend the rabbis' lessons. They're wonderful, inspirational, and always jam packed full of knowledge. That's today's video. Bit of a different one. Until next week.